while since I filmed a video, so it feels so good to sit down and film again. Um, I'm still a little jet lagged, so forgive me if I look and sound tired. It's because I am. I feel like I haven't slept since I've gotten back, but I couldn't wait any longer. I got some really good um, wax in while I was gone, so I couldn't wait to share. This is going to go up a little late. But I have enjoyed watching everyone else's hauls. But today, I'm going to share with you my first ever Teddy Bees pre-sale order. And I'm so, so excited. I've only gotten Teddy Bees through the D-Stash groups on Facebook. So, I participated in, I want to say it was like September, maybe August. It was a while ago. And um, participated in the pre-sale for the first time. And she's got an RTS coming this Saturday, I think the 19th at 3 o'clock. So... If you missed out on the pre-sale, or even if you didn't and want to get some extra things, she's got an RTS coming up, so I'll put all of the info for Teddy Bees and their RTS in my description box below, but let's just hop into what I ordered. So, the first thing I got here is a business card, and I love, like, it's so, like, modern and sleek looking. Very nice. And then I got a sample in crushed candy canes. It smells really good. It smells just like candy canes. Perfect for Christmas. I really like it. It's not too pepperminty. It's just, it's kind of like mixed with a, like a sweet, maybe like a bakery note. I don't know, but it smells really good. And the next thing I want to say is that she included, I got all tubs. And let's see, 5, 10, 15, 23 tubs. So zero chill. I mean, what do you guys expect? It's me, right? So, um, she also included 23 of these poly pro bags. Um, I guess cause she was testing out lids on these. And so, um, I've seen in a few other people's videos and I actually tried myself. They don't really fit well in the bags. And so, um, I ordered some bigger ones so I can put them in there because some of the lids cracked during transit, which you know, USPS or UPS, they kind of are not the most gentle when it comes to packages sometimes. But anywho, let me stop rambling and let's hop into the wax. I've got quite a bit to go through. So the first one here is God's Woods, which is Palo Santo, Birchwood, Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. And off the top of my head, I don't remember how much these were, but I will leave uh, the price as well down in the prescription. Uh, down in the description box and uh, I think they were like $12 and something maybe um, and I'll leave like the weight and everything I'm, I'm the worst and I didn't even look it up but um, they do have the pour dates on the labels which I love this one was poured on October 20th so not too long ago they are so pretty with a little bit of glitter oh this smells so so good I get the pine and the vanilla balsam. I found that I really love vanilla balsam. It's just, it's just such a good like Christmas tree, but bakery, I think scent. And I smell the Palo Santo, the Birchwood, the pine and the vanilla balsam. This is just an incredible blend. I love it so much. So glad I got this one. And I think I'm gonna put this one on my list to pick up another in the RTS if I can. Next, I got I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples, which is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. And to be honest, I only got this because I watched Drew's video and he was just raving about it. So I probably wouldn't have picked this up otherwise. So, okay. I'm going to try to pop it out here. Oh, come on. Well, it's, it's like, there it comes. Okay. Okay. It smells good, but it's kind of, I definitely get the apples, the cinnamon and the clove and the vanilla bean. I don't know what I heart vanilla is. Maybe just like a vanilla blend, but yeah, it just smells like a toned down cinnamon, like apple cinnamon. So yeah, it's good. I'm really excited to let these cure and try them out on warm because I still haven't warmed anything from Teddy B's. I've gotten a lot of suggestions to let it cure for like up to a year before melting. So 
do you guys melt right away or do you let this cure like when how do you get the best performance let me know your thoughts down below okay next is cinnamon pretzel cookie cake which is soft pretzels covered in cinnamon and sugar white cake sugar cookies and bakery dough Mm, this smells good. Definitely pretzel first. Cinnamon and sugar. I don't get a white cake note. I smell the sugar cookies though. Yeah, this smells good. Just a really nice cinnamon pretzel bakery. Okay, next is Winter Farmhouse, which is sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. That is a beautiful blue. Okay, I get the sugared, or the blue spruce and the sugar cane. It's like a sweet tree note. Yeah, this is different, but I like it. I was almost getting like a, like a licorice, like a black licorice smell, which is weird. But now, like after smelling it a little bit more, I smell the blue spruce and the teak wood, a little mint. I don't get much Palo Santo or florals, which I'm not mad about. But yeah, this is just such a like unique blend and I like it a lot. Next, I got strawberry vanilla birch, which is strawberry pound cake, bath and body works type and vanilla birch. I've kind of been into birch for winter. It's also a new, kind of like Palo Santo. I'm just getting into it like in bakery blends. Ooh, this is really nice. It's a warm strawberry pound cake. I really, I love strawberry pound cake. And so add that vanilla birch just gives it a warmth and it's just going to be perfect for winter. Yeah, this is a good one. Next is Witches Be Crazy for Beach Treats, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, Sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with beach treats. Oh, this is good. Witches Be Crazy is like one of her like house blends and it's so nice. I've had it before in a stash. And her beach treats is so good. And again, like beach treats is one of those that I wouldn't think to mix with bakery, but it just works. It's so pretty. You get the bakery, you get the like marshmallow, like outdoorsy beach treat scent. It's just, it's good. Mm, I love it. This is a winner. Another Witches Be Crazy blend. This is Witches Be Crazy for blueberries. So it's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with sweet blueberries. Oh, that's good. Her blueberry is really nice. Definitely sweet. Oh, this is good. I bet this is going to be a good one on warm. Oh, I love this so much. I'm loving them all on cold so far. So it's a good start. Next is I Heart Vanilla Balsam and Palo Santo. Creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallow and magnolias blended with vanilla balsam and layered with Palo Santo. Oh, so it's, oh, it's layered. Awesome, let me see if I can pop it out. Yes, okay, so see it's two-toned here, so. I think the bottom is definitely the Palo Santo. And then the top smells like the I Heart Vanilla Balsam, but this smells so good. Man, this is, I love that. You really get all the notes and it's just like a, her blends are so like complex, but you still get the notes and I just really hope that they all perform just as well on warm as they smell on cold because they are really good. Next up is vanilla cream and sweet bread, which is warm sweet bread, granulated sugar, vanilla milk and sweet cream. Just a really sweet vanilla bakery. 
it's really faint, but it smells so good. It smells kind of like, I get a bread note and then like the, a vanilla milk, but it kind of just smells like vanilla extract to me and, and bread. It smells so good. I hope this one's a good one on warm as well. Next is Pumpkin Queen, fresh pumpkin, clove, bourbon, toasted oak, vanilla santal, pistachio, finished with cashmere and cocoa butter. That sounds so pretty. Oh, this is so nice. This is a warm, just beautiful blend. This pumpkin is a sweet pumpkin. It's not really a spicy at all. But all those notes are just so sophisticated. I love this. It's one of those that I feel like if I didn't have the notes in front of me, I wouldn't really, I couldn't pinpoint what was in this, but it just works so well and I love it and I'm so excited to warm it. Next is Cozy Cookie Cake and Balsam, which is Vanilla Balsam, Fraser Furs, blended with our Cozy Cookie Cake, which is Warm Iced White Cake, Beach Treats, Marshmallow Fireside, and Signature Sugar Cookie. Ooh, this one's good. It's like vanilla balsam mixed with bakery. And then throw beach nights in there. Again, I would never think to put balsam with bakery and beach nights, but this is good. I'm so impressed with her blending skills, you guys. They're just amazing, honestly. Okay. Next is Grown Women Stuff, um, Palo Santo, Orchid, Amber, and Smoked Vanilla. Honestly, I got this one just for the name because I'm not a big like orchid or like floral person, but I'm so glad I got it because it's really, really pretty. It's like a warm floral. I definitely get the orchid, but it's not like overpowering the blend. And I love that smoked vanilla note. It's really working well with the Amber and Paulo. And that sweet orchid, it's just, again, it's a great one. Next we have Tiff's favorite birthday cake, milk cookies, and zucchini bread. And I've never had any of her milk and cookies, so I'm excited to try this one. This is Tiff's favorite lavender blended with white cake and buttercream layered with our milk and cookies blended with zucchini bread. This is one of the ones that kind of got beat up during transit. The lid cracked and it's like seen better days, but that's all right. Let's see. Okay, this is another layered one. So pretty. Okay. So um, the lavender is on the top, and then the, oh yeah, the milk and cookies and zucchini bread is on the bottom. I love her milk and cookies. I was kind of, didn't really, or I wasn't so like excited to try it because I'm so, I was so afraid of like milky scents. Sometimes they can smell a little off to me, but this is so nice. The milk and cookies with the zucchini bread is, I would love to have like a loaf of that on its own. And then mixed with the lavender and bakery is just so nice. I'm so looking forward to melting this one or all of them, honestly, because they've all been really good so far. Next is morning cup of Christmas. I feel like I have glitter all over my nose. So if I do, I'm really sorry. <laughs> morning cup of Christmas, which is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and hints of fresh pine. I really like this one as well. The cranberry and apple really complement each other well. A hint of the pine and then the vanilla chai, like the spicy chai. Yeah. This smells kind of like, you know that stuff that you, I forgot what it's called, but you put it all on your stove and just let it warm around the holidays. I forgot what it's called. You guys let me know in the comments, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. It smells really nice. 
Next up is Winterfell, which is sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. This kind of reminds me of Winter Farmhouse. Let's see what other... Okay, I wonder which ones... Hmm. Yeah, I think these are mislabeled. So either Winter Farmhouse or Winterfell. One of them isn't right, but... This smells very minty. It's kind of like, you know, you can smell like cool, crisp air. Like a minty. It smells really nice. I like it a lot. I think this is the one that's sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. I'll put um, the notes for Winterfell and Winter Farmhouse down below, so in case I misspoke. Next is Snow Queen, which is marshmallow, fireside, warm vanilla sugar, and sugared spruce. This one smells good. I'm also getting licorice from this one, but like this is like stronger, like a black licorice smell. If any of you got Snow Queen, let me know if you smell that or if it's just me. Let me try to pop it out. Like first sniff, that's like, that's what I'm getting big time. This is black licorice, let's see. Okay, so. I think that may be just the sugared spruce mixed with the marshmallow fireside. I don't know. It smells good now. I'm not getting as much licorice as I keep smelling it and then smelling the bottom. But when I first smelled that, it smelled literally just like black licorice. It was crazy, right? But yeah, I get all three notes and then just blend it together. Somehow or another, my nose smells licorice. Please let me know if you feel the same. Next is Christmas Trees and Cream, which I'm so excited. I've heard such good things about this blend. This is fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and rich buttercream. Oh yeah, this is really good. It's just a creamy Christmas tree scent. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I'm going to put this on the list to pick up another one as well. This is so, so nice. I kind of want to do a loaf of that because I feel like I would just want to melt it throughout Christmas or throughout December. Next is milk, cookies, and Christmas. Creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, buttery cookie dough, warm spices, sweet spruce, and cinnamon and clove. That sounds so good. Oh my gosh. So, so good. It's very spicy, but in a good way. It smells spicy, like creamy, spicy, just so good. Love this one. Also may try to pick up another one of those. Next up we have the Bee Charmer, which is French Cade Lavender, Peach, Apple, Magnolia, Wood, and Musk. Honestly, not really sure why I picked this one up, but it is really pretty. Can you guys see the topping? It is so pretty. This is very fruity. It's like a fruity lavender. It smells good, but I think it may like give me a headache. So if I keep this one, it'll definitely be a bathroom scent. It doesn't smell bad. I just feel like it may be a little much for me. Next is warm and toasty. Toasted pumpkins, a dash of spice, warm embers, toasted marshmallow, a hint of mahogany vanilla. This smells so good. It does smell warm and toasty, just like you're cozied up under a warm blanket. It's a little spicy. I get the warm embers, it's a little smoky. It's just, it is perfection. Oh, I love this one so much. I'm really getting into like warmer scents, which I've never really been into, but I guess my nose is changing, you guys. Three more. Next is Anthony's Cabin, Birch Leaves, Citrus Peel, Pine Cones, White Florals, Vetiver, Sandalwood, and Woods. Oh, this is good. I may have to pick up another one of these. The, the birch, like I just love it so much. Pine Cones, yes. Vetiver, Sandalwood. This is perfection. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yep. 
perfect for winter. Next is pumpkin season, rich cake infused with pumpkin spice, creamy vanilla coffee, oat milk creamer, brown sugar, and Palo Santo. Definitely get coffee. And brown sugar with a little bit of pumpkin. The pumpkin gives it a little spice. This is really nice. It's just a nice like fall coffee smell. Smells good. It kind of gives me like pumpkin creamer from Sassy Girl Aroma vibes minus the coffee in this one. It smells so good. And then the last one here is called Blushed. Vanilla Birch blended with peach flesh, strawberries, warm woods, and marshmallows. A little iffy about the peach, but... I get the peach, but it's not so, so strong. Mixed with all the other notes isn't bad. It's, it's actually really nice. Get the vanilla birch, which I love. The strawberries and the peach give it a little sweet kick. And then it's the warm woods and marshmallows give it that extra warmth. This is really pretty. Another just unique blend that just, I would never think to put these notes together, but it just works so beautifully. Hats off to Tiffany for her blending skills because I am so thrilled with my first order, my first pre-sale. I love everything. Like there wasn't one that I just hated. Like in, you know, the one, the Bee Charmer that was kind of like off the cuff for me, um, it still smelled really nice. So I just, Tiffany is so good at what she does. These smell so good. I'm hoping that they perform well for me. Again, let me know how long you cure them for. I was hoping to warm a few of these for Christmas, but since that's in a month, I don't know whether to try it out or just wait and use them for the next year. You guys let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I apologize again if I look tired, jet lagged, and I'm a little rusty because it's been a while since I filmed a video, but um, I'm going to film a few more tonight, so hopefully they're not too bad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.